Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Thomas. Today we're back here with Death Battle, and today, well, we got Battle of the Hybrids. One side, we got Shadow the Hedgehog, the ultimate life form, and on the other side, we got Rukio, Ryuko, Ryuko, Ryuko from Kill a Kill. Honestly, been a while since I actually done one of, like, Shadow's fights. Surprisingly, I haven't done this yet, but hey, we're here, we're gonna check it out, huh? So, let's see how things go. Be sure to like, Scott for more, hope you enjoy. Here we go. in the back. Shadow the Hedgehog, powerhouse of chaos and rival to Sonic. Mm -hmm. And Ryuko Matoi, the teen fighter in life fiber from Kill the Kill. They both may be tryhard incarnates, but when the trips sure. are down, who is the deadliest edgelord of them all? He's hey, Wiz and it's Boomstick. So and it's our job Ooh. to analyze their weapons, yeah. armor, and skills to find out who, who would win, win a, a death, death battle. battle. First up, Dr. Gerald Robotnik, grandfather to the Dr. Eggman we all know, mm -hmm. had a problem. His granddaughter, Maria, mm -hmm. was dying, succumbing to a neuroimmunity disease with no known cure. But old Jerry had a plan. When the government contacted him to build the ultimate life form, he figured its DNA could cure Maria no problem. So he took the Fair. job, and by studying the infinite power of Chaos Emeralds, with some alien assistance, he made the Mostly. one and only Shadow the Hedgehog. Is that just that black oh, dude part still the canon? Commission I'm curious. A hot topic. Better question, since when were hedgehogs ultimate disease curing life forms? I mean, yeah, the prototype was a part. wizard, which sort of makes sense as certain yeah. reptiles have regenerative tissue, but then he went from this what? to a hedgehog. Okay? Where? Who cares if he's a lizard, hedgehog, squirrel, or whatever, Wiz? Let's stick with All the hedgehog, that matters huh? is he's super badass looking, super badass sounding, <laughs> and is super powered by chaos. Literally. Shadow's powers are directly chaos? tied to those Control. of the miracle gems, Chaos Emeralds. He can tap into their power for incredible feats, similar to his blue blur rival. Likely for this very reason, he actually possesses many of the same abilities as Sonic. You know, the guy who's so fast he can almost outrun a black hole? Spin attacks, homing almost. attacks, spin dashes, etc. But unlike his blue buddy, Shadow's not afraid to get serious and bust out some lead. Hey, Sonic, why use a spin attack when you've got a goddamn gun or a sword <laughs> as big as you? Look at that thing! He's used some of the... Actually, I'm curious. With the reboot, is Shadow the Hedgehog even canon anymore? Like, I know there's still some metal limits. I'm just not too sure about the whole, like, him being half alien. Right? Is it half alien? Or how much of the black arms race is in him? I don't know. At this rate, I'm not even sure if it's canon anymore. You guys know? Let me know. Anyway. The same power-ups that Sonic's picked up, like heat barriers and magnetic lightning shields. But he also has some mm -hmm. unique gear all of his own. His air shoes are way cooler than Sonic's sneakers. They can boost his speed to match Sonic's and also let him fly. Kind of. He's even More got hover, some gear attached that lets him attack at the speed of light. However, all of these abilities and equipment are mere accessories to Shadow's true power. The might okay. of chaos itself. Even got without blast, Emerald control, on hand, rift, Shadow fear, can summon eagle, similar power. Manifesting attacks like Black Tornado, Yeehaw! Chaos Blast, or the deadly Chaos Spear. But even though they totally asked for Dark Jerry to make Shadow, the feds got spooked and tried to shut down the project. And that's when things went bad. Like... Really bad. Yeah, he shot a kid. Shadow was successfully sealed away, but in the crossfire, a life was lost. Maria. Locked up and super pissed off, Shadow had plenty of time to work on his angsty poetry. And Jerry had time to fair, he saw his only friend get shot. against all humanity. When do you think we're ever going to find a scientist who doesn't go totally bonkers? I mean, what about me? At this point, uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. 
Well, since Maria was Shadow's only real friend, revenge seemed like a good idea, which was a serious problem considering just how powerful he is. He can teleport, slow down, or even stop time, and even time traveled a bit. And just like any teenage boy, he's got some serious mood swings he doesn't like to talk about. Which can actually affect his abilities. With negative emotion, his raw power intensifies. With positive emotion, he gains more control. But when it comes down to it, the government may have been right to worry. Shadow possesses so much power, even he can't always control it. Oh uh, yeah, has the inhibitor race. Sonic once used all seven of the Chaos Emeralds to literally rebuild the Earth. This is why hey, Shadow wears inhibitor rings, which limit how much Chaos Energy he can release at once. When he does remove them, what he loses in control is made up for by a massive increase in power, enough to match that of a whole Chaos Emerald. Hmm. What? 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 What are you looking at? Is that a... Do you have a ring on your robot arm? It was a... gift? Mm -hmm. Cool. Now well, good luck with that. All the rings I've given out to people always get sent back eventually. Anyway, huh. Spiky Head's so powerful, he teleported That's an entire space sun, colony and even a giant orbit. asteroid. Plus, he's held back this huge space plant monster. And of course, tapping into the power of additional Lars Chaos Lars. Emeralds increases his power to unbelievable heights. By doing a tango with all seven, he can turn into Super Shadow. Now, without power rings, this form can't stick around for more than a full minute. But while he's golden, he's got super enhanced abilities, is basically invulnerable, and Or if you're an Archie, fly. long as you Shadows not only survived being shot out of a cannon, but he's just as tough as Sonic, who survived the space station Death Egg exploding right in front of him. Most impressively, as Super Shadow, he and Super Sonic were fired into planet Aquarius, obliterating it. This would take over a Damn. whole exaton of TNT. So you've explained. All well, this happened because after 50 years of Shadow being Remember, trapped, Ant Man himself released him to conquer the world. Sonic and crew had to stop him from destroying all mankind, but really, he's so fast he'd wreck anyone's shit before they'd notice. Shadow has dodged gunfire and destroyed enemies without being seen, but his light speed attacks are stated as being exactly that light, light speed. speed. Almost Ooh. 3 million meters per second. So Shadow's super strong and super fast. Makes sense he's a formidable enemy to just about anyone. Lucky for our heroes, they inspired Shadow to regain his memories of Maria, who actually wanted him to protect humanity instead of, you know, destroy. Yeah, he I blame Ninja for that but he'll one. always be the edgy hedgehog we love to hate to love. <laughs> Understood. Initiating the mission now. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I'm not sure if, like, Shadow the Hedgehog was canon anymore, because I remember, like, Shadow actually joining up with Gun, which is, well, again, you can't really blame his, you know, attitude, considering he lost, like, a big good friend to, well, I don't know, hard to say it was, like, intentional, or maybe he just panicked and shot, I don't know. I think at X, which you saw the clip of, of, like, the guy there, he actually was, like, really traumatized with having to shoot Marie up, which I don't think every soldier should really have to shoot a kid, but damn. Well, anyway, there's Shadow. Let's check out Ryoko. Thousands of years ago, aliens that would come to be known as life fibers crashed to Earth. Life? These parasites huh. attached themselves to the most intelligent species they could find. Humans. Oh, and they okay. even got humans to make them into clothes so it was easier for them to live on us and provide Weird. viewers with gratuitous fan service. Ha uh, yeah. Yeah, that's anyway, life fibers for you. The life fibers helped anyway. humans evolve more quickly and soon just passively survived as humanity developed. But some weren't content with Seems such passivity. Like, virus? like Ragnar more Kuderi, like a who had access to the original oh. primordial life fiber that landed on Earth so long ago. Oh. And humans are gonna human, so she and her husband experimented <laughs> on that sucker like nobody's business. They attempted to infuse fibers into both of their daughters. Their first daughter was too old for the experiment to be a success, and it appeared that their infant second daughter was also a failure. So Ragyo just threw her away. Wow. Whoa. She Dick threw move. away her baby? Kind of reminds me of how yeah. my dad just threw away our relationship. Uh, well, uh, fortunately for this too. child, her father couldn't stand by Ragyo's decision and rescued her, assuming the name Ishin Matoi, and raised this daughter himself. This is Ryuko. Ryuko Matoi. 
Yeah, things were okay for a while, but it wasn't a picnic at the Matoy household. Ryuko and Ishin didn't always get along, so he shipped her off to boarding school to fight other people there instead of him. When she finally came home, she found dear old dad bleeding out, Ooh. impaled by a weird-looking sword. That's this the was scissor the first blade. half of what would become her signature weapon, the scissor blades. In Ishin's last moments, he urged Ryuko to find whoever wielded the other half of the weapon, the one who killed him. Ryuko might not have known it, but the scissor blades were created by her father out of life fibers. They're actually one of the only weapons that can cut and destroy life fibers, which <laughs> is important when your opponents are all using, you know, life fibers. Life fibers. I would say we take a shot every time we say life fiber, but you yeah, I'm good. Die, Wiz. <laughs> and do not try that at home. Anyway, Agreed. with the quest of revenge and half a scissor blade, she started hunting down her father's killer. But she couldn't do it by herself. So she found a skimpy sailor suit to help her out. AK yeah, Kamui. Here's that fan service thing I was telling you about. This Senkets is either. Senkets, a living suit made from life fibers, also known as a Kamui. Now, there's mm -hmm. plenty of clothing out there made with some life fiber, but a Kamui like Senkets is unique in that it's made of 100% life fiber. And Damn. yes, I said living suit. Wait, Ryuko, these assassins can't hear me. Oh, that feels nice. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Mm -hmm. Not just anyone can wear Senkets, as they have to successfully bond with him for the process to work. Lucky for Ryuko, <laughs> she absolutely could, in no small part thanks to the life fibers Thanks. infused within her body when she was an infant. Damn. See, Mom, you trash person, it did work. And when she and Zinkets learned how to work together, there wasn't much that could stand in their way. He's more than just a sailor outfit. As a life fiber construct, Senkets can absorb other life fibers to increase his own power, allowing him to transform to gain new abilities. His Senjin form makes him super spiky, and his Shifu form turns Ryoko into a badass fighting rocket. He's also able Yeehaw. to combine both the Senjin and Shifu forms for more versatility. Admittedly, though, each of these transformations comes at a cost for Ryuko as they're fueled by Senkets consuming her blood. This is wow. most dangerous in his berserker form that occurs when Ryuko gets too upset Fair. and Senkets loses control. If not stopped in time, she could die from too much blood loss. But most impressive yeah. is when Ryuko straight up goes flying Super Saiyan and Senkets turns into his Kisaragi form. It's way more powerful and uses even more of her blood. What's the deal? Is Senkets a vampire? Well, a popular I mean, theory suggests that mm -hmm. it's all a metaphor for puberty. Senkets pulling out Ryuko's blood is symbolic of menstruation, and the skimpier outfits visualize acceptance of sexuality and adulthood. Seems kind of dumb. Except she's a teenager who already went through puberty. Ugh. Wiz, do you have a daughter? No. I thought so. At least yeah, even I'm not too sure about that one. Hmm. Like puberty? I mean, wouldn't that be a little kid, not like teens? Probably already know puberty. I don't know. It seems kind of dumb. That kind of curious about the like the blood thing. Like, does she like regenerate like after the fights? Cause I can only imagine like there's gonna be a lot of anemia with Ryoko or Ryoko Ryuko. Jeez, that is a that is a mouthful. I might just stick them a toy, you know? But still, seems kind of weird, but jeez. Like, how much does he take? Like, St. Kitts? I don't know. It's kind of odd, but anyway. At least having life fiber DNA means she has crazy abilities on top of Senkets' transformations, like insane super fast healing. Basically, life fibers restore themselves so quickly that Ryuko's body starts regenerating before a blade has finished cutting through Wait, her. Unless really? someone is quick enough to cut through her body before this regeneration begins, she can survive almost anything. She's been stabbed and sliced tons of times, including completely in half, and even had her heart ripped out of her chest. Do we get this chick as the next guest character in Mortal Kombat? I mean, be surprised. basically anybody these days, so... Her strength <laughs> is incredible. At one point, she see? had to blast a hole through a layer of life fibers so surrounding the entire planet. Well, life fibers are stated to be harder than solid steel, so to pull this off, she must have struck with a force equivalent to over 650 exatons of TNT. Uh, which means she'd really be able to take a hit that strong too. But with all these powers and more, Ryuko finally found her father's killer and completed mm -hmm. the rending scissors. These swords can <laughs> casually cut through skyscrapers 
members and have some super forms of their own. Decapitation mode extends the blades for better slicing and dicing, while alumni mode makes them so gigantic they eclipse the freaking Earth! What Whoa. is this show? Next to Ryuko, one scissor blade is normally about two and a half feet long. Scaling up, the alumni mode appears to be about 1,017 oh, times larger, weighing Ow. well over 3 million tons. If you have a pair of normal scissors at home, imagine lifting 50 billion of those all at once. That's what this is like. She can slice through 200 tennis balls five times each in less than a second, which us in the scientifically <laughs> community call <clears throat> fast as f or 8,000 times faster than sound. And she rocketed into the atmosphere in less than 18 seconds, which means her flying speed can reach Mach 500. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Why is everyone naked? Ryuko may not have had the easiest upbringing, but after oh, dedicating sorry. herself to revenge for so long and yet saving the entire planet, she had become something unexpected. Yeah, I think she... A hero. Of. Let's go! I'm gonna slice your ass in half! I think the naked part was rebellion from what I remember. I don't know. Like, I never watched the show, so I'm just talking out of my ass. <laughs> you know, like like they said in the beginning, the life fibers were pretty much in their clothing, the body, so I think Yuko just absorbed the life fibers to, well, make that giant rocket construct, and up she goes. You know? At least that's what I remember, but I don't know. If I had to guess. Yeah, anyway, let's get to it. Let's see who wins this fight. Will it be Shadow, Ryoko? Let's find out. Sunday drive, nice. There we go. Oh, and here comes Shadow. That's fight. Hey, you cut me off, asshat! No, he didn't. <laughs> who cares? Ryoko, maybe we should... Oh, yeah? Here we go. Fight time! <laughs> Here we go. Incoming. Oh. Up you go. That got a hit. Next. Chaos control. Troll. Oh. <laughs> oh, the old silver treatment. Nice. Not hit him. He's anticipating you. You should anticipate him instead. No shit, stupid! Oh. 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 Shadow's starting his trouble. Damn. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, did your mommy pack that sword for you? <laughs> really? There's nothing more fighting, huh? Ooh! Careful. That hurts. Have a little faith! <laughs> Let's stop coming in. Time to end this. Here we go. You're Super mode! My power. Some more. Damn. Most of it. Fake. If I say anything, I'm good. Got to see who's getting the damage here. Spear's coming in. Scissor blade! Oh, hammer's off. Come chaos blast. Vapor. I'm the coolest. Damn. 
Yep. Yep. Hey, yo. You know, we made fun of how little clothing Ryoko was wearing, that but Shadow's been naked the whole time. Armed eh, with her Let it go. blades, and her life fiber buffs, Ryuko was definitely a match for Shadow at first. <laughs> yeah, with her True. awesome strength combined with her insane endurance, once those inhibitors are off, it was super low. He... She was then, done. It wasn't a surefire win for the rocket chick. Mm. Outside mm. of his super form, Shadow never withstood anything on the scale of Ryuko's hole in the life outside. fibers surrounding Earth. At her maximum power, she could have easily dealt a killing blow if she could catch him. Shadow could keep yep. up with Sonic the Hedgehog, whose race against the black hole proves he can move over 260,000 <laughs> times faster than sound, Pretty far much. faster than anything Ryuko's shown, yeah. and more than quick enough to slice through a life fiber before it has time to heal. Once the red and black hedgehog turned red and gold, Ryuko didn't really have yeah, a way true. to take him down. I mean, Super Shadow's chaos powers use all seven chaos emeralds, which can move pieces of the Earth around. Considering true. Earth's total mass and the speed at which each piece was moved, this would require exerting energy equivalent to 1.6 decillion joules, it's which trillion. translates to over 2,800 zettatons of TNT. Yeah. That's Good a lot with that, my fiber. A lot more Darn. than Ryuko's biggest hits. Even mm -hmm. one chaos emerald is enough to match Ryuko's best and considering shadow can match the power of an emerald when he takes off those inhibitors he had better odds of winning Bye -bye. even without going super ryuko put up an amazing fight one for the ages but shadow's mm -hmm. unmatched power and speed proved too much for our lady in black and red amen hey, he's pretty beat up about it too do you know what he said when he was asked what his favorite anime is uh, yeah. i like the one with the edgy girl and the scissor blade it's canon Pretty no, much. No, really. <laughs> In clothing, the edge hog couldn't be overshadowed, and Ryuko's life fiber was, was snipped. snipped. The winner is Shadow the, the Hedgehog. Hedgehog. Honestly, makes a lot of sense. Like, I don't think she faced anything like the, you know, Chaos Emeralds, which, again, that's kind of the point of death battle. They don't really experience that kind of thing. <laughs> anyway, Shadow takes the win. Let me know what you guys think of the battle. Till next time, adios.